Welcome back, YouTube. General Soul here with MLB The Show 24, Road to the Show, our Padre center fielder. And we are up for a four-game series against the Giants. Uh, when you look at the stats of it. Manny Machado and um, Fernando Tatis are getting a day off again. Okay. Hello from Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. Man at first with long gone, and now Tony Woodson. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And the righty deals. There we go. That's a base hit. Well, lead runner around second. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Just so sound in his mechanics. Well, come it's here. You walked away. I was scratching you, you walked away. Carry through the middle of the field. <clears throat> Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Hassan Kim. He should never be batting for elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Runner takes off and a four pitch walk. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really. You don't need none of that. And here's the catcher, Luis. You think you need that, but you don't. The pitch. On the ground, two ball. Damn it. Torres, toss the second, return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. If you want me to scratch you, you got to quit walking away from me. I can't reach that far. Okay, enough with the double play. So two down, and up next for San Francisco, Garrett Hampson. Okay, I need my hand. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That is not a heckle. Two outs. And a base hit into right center field. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped Up it into the opposite the field gap, and the I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video. Now Woodson measures five feet ten inches, just 19 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. And it's fouled away. Very early, but I waited two years for it to get here. One down, base is empty. And a foul There's ball. the fastball. At the belt and fires. And one and two. Nice try. I knew as I hit the button, no, don't swing at that. I can't even call that on the pitch. thumb. Swing and a miss, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Thought it was a high pretty heat. good pitch, top of the strike zone. It was not even in the strike zone, asshole. I should, that was a twitch. Oh, new pitcher. All right. Give me something good. That wasn't some good. Out towards right center. Solaire getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. 
So it's four runs for him on two hits. No errors and one left. We played four. It's the Padres five and the Giants nothing. Damn, that one hit that that guy got is the only hit the Giants have gotten. Shit, and that ruined the no-hitter. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Is hit for that pop. There. Came out of the gates really strong. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Yeah, that's not how baseball's played anymore. Unfortunately. It actually is played home run, home run, home run, home run, home run. Reaching for it and brings it in. Tell you what, this is a really cool feeling when you can make that kind of catch over the shoulder. Doesn't happen very often. It's not easy, but he made it look easy right there. Nice job. Two outs with a man at third. Tony. Shit, they are making a comeback. What the fuck happened? These fans don't like to see that because they show up to watch him swing the ball. This team does not want to let him beat him. And now, Hassan Kim. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone. Rudder takes off and makes the play, and that's out number three. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We're through six full. It's the Padres seven and the Giants five. Bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Shit. Tony Woodson. We had a we had a one hit sh shutout going, and now look at it. The pitch, and that misses off the outside edge. I got to call NLDS Game Four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their oh. rivals, the LA Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Bounce to third, and that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. Out of board when you get on base. Another multi hit no game matter, for him. Seven. He's been really hot lately. Sure, There's stop. something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying. All right, it's Kim. Just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Get back! So you want two steps? I didn't even take one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Here goes the runner. That one the other way, and that's a base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Good job. Now here is Luis Campusano. Come on, Campusano. You're playing this kind of Deep fly ball brings me in, level. which means he's either got struck out or ground out. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Way to swing after it's in the so catcher's glove. Damn. And now we'll see how they play defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle Great. infielders back a little bit, get into double play like, depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. One down. Next is the designated hitter, Chris Bryant. Ground ball. Could you be two. dumbass. Throws to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So no runs on two base hits. No errors. And one left. All on. either one of you idiots had to do was hit it into the outfield. Nine and the Giants eight. Ah, uh, we won at least. Uh, now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. Two for four with two singles. Next. We're on defense. So nope. In, Tony Woodson. Okay. 
What well, you got? Look for stuff in the dirt. First pitch misses. Count one and oh. And oh, another right ball. Down. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why. You're going to have to throw me counts. something He's good. Able to do that consistently, and you see the results. I will take a walk if you're going to give it to me. Oh, look at Ooh, this nice. Throws okay. Nice dive. That's a great play that, for the out. Good play. Great, great job play. Doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning. I'll give it to him. Great play. You know, the first manager to Tony. ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004. Ooh. And Tony managed San Diego State. If it was so good, why did it foul off? Again, if it was so good, why did it foul Bases off? Empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And jabbed me. Out of the infield. Under it. He's got it. Two away. At least he's learned to throw strikes. He's not trying to play around in the corners and get Manny Machado's back in. Base is empty one away. And here is Jamie hey. Martinez. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Righty delivers, and he swings and lifts one All in right. deep center This field. looks like a button. Nope. Whew. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. Whew. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Stepping in for San Diego, Tony Woodson. Webb back to work. And a foul ball. That borderline. You know, these that was, just and they're good. I'm hitting good, but they're going foul. There we go. Zero extra base hits in the game. So uh, damn. Yastrzemski flashes the leather on the running catch. Every day during batting practice, these Any relation to Carl. Now it's going to be Tony Woodson. Okay, different pitcher. Oh, fuck. Knuckle curve. And that's outside. One and oh. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher. I hate the knuckle the curve. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Ooh. Just early. His eyes got big. He saw that change of way out in front. Yeah, my eyes did get big. Get jammed on something off speed like that. This one That's a base hit. That one gets down. You got it, you got it. Two, two, two. Coming home. One run is in. Relay throw home. He is safe. And two RBI three. double. Gets the job done <laughs> as he brings home a pair. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on. Because I mean. <laughs> So, pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now Machado up here. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Uh, Scott, many bring me home. Look at players like this. You play that hot corner. Base hit brings me home. Pretty courageous over there with the way he's trying for third. Ball outside. For third, he's safe. I wasn't actually trying to steal, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> Pitch. So now two on and two outs. 
four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Now okay, now, our, now Fernando and Manny are back in. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, do you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too? Live drive, and that should be extra bases. The run scores from third, and they're up by four. Now the throw comes in, runner holds it third. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. So two away with nobody on. And now it's Wilmer Flores. All right, we're going for a, full, a complete game shutout. All right, all right. Let's do it. Last it, last out. That is not a heckle. If they went home, you don't have a game. King is just one strike away. Oh, does she get screamer into the outfield? Well, I guess this is a way to end it. Got it. And what a play! Ball game. What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. All right, we went one for four with a double, two RBIs, a run scored. We're three for eight with a double, two RBIs. Next game. And it's second with one away. Tony Woodson, the next up for the Padres. All right, let's You're talking about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this Power level, swing. an impact player. All right, what we got? A sinker, sweeping curve, fastball, slider. Hitter's got some good Woo! opposite field. Power. Okay. Well, like Last few guys didn't have right very much speed. Outfield. This guy's got this some speed. All right. Has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can oh, score on that base hit. And that's outside. One ball, one strike. Bogarts, the runner at second with one away. That misses the zone. Two and one. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there uh, later in this count. I'm waiting for that heat. Kicks and fires. Good Whoa, eye in that there. spot. Get ready for some I'll action take a walk. here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. He makes the grab. Tags up from second. And he'll head to third. Didn't drive it in, but I moved him up. San Diego, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's the Giants DH, Lamont Wade Jr. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. All right, where are you going with it? Base 
So nope. a runner aboard to start the inning. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now batting. One one, all right. One on, two out. Season, hitting third in the lineup, and he's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year. Swing and a deep ball. This one's got a chance. Way back there, and boom goes the dynamite. A gigantic blast, and they add a pair. It's three one. He only needed Ooh, one. Four fifty nine. Any time in that at bat, boo, aggressive and it paid off. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Did that go out of the park? <laughs> now batting, center fielder. Uh, you want all that again? He did. <laughs> That's back there. Wow! Back to back. <laughs> Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's five one. Four thirteen that time. That's like, do you want all that pitch again? He did. Are you not entertained? <laughs> power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. 413 there. So one out, nobody on. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. Wilmer Flores. All right. One question is, is it something I can catch? That yep. one hammered center field. Woodson ranging back. Just shy of the wall. Now batting. Designated <laughs> Now batting. So digging in now for San Diego, <laughs> Tony Woodson. And the way I wanted to hear that. Story. We've been waiting for his spot to come around. I think that did go, right, if that did go out of the park, it went into the right second deck. Two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Different pitcher. All right. Cutter. You have some power. All right. Let's go. Hit in the air, center. I should let that one go. Yastrzemski settles underneath it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. It would have been a, possibly a strike, but I should let that go. Hey, that Padre guy should be hitting that giant guy in the Winston. face. Excelled in this one and contributed to the win. Cracked a pair of homers. I'll tell you, Boog, I was excited every time he came off. When a player is locked in like he was, it's a really special feeling. Great job in this one. Two for four with two home runs, three RBIs, two runs scored. We are five for 12 with two home runs, five RBIs in the series. Last game. The final line for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Tony Woodson will hit next. The center fielder. Tony Woodson. What you got? All right, I need to stop swinging at pitches inside from the lefties. Ooh. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. I got Should've to let that go. NLTS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park. <laughs> where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Slow roller to third, Maton. 
error. First as they can't make the play. And my thumb kept twitching there, so I shouldn't have swung. I didn't want to swing at that, but my thumb just twitched. All right, Manny. Grand slam time. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Manny Machado. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Would you take a lead, asshole? That's first for the out as the run comes in from third. Giants are having a great infield, aren't they? And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Get that tenth game hitting streak going. First frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about it. Sure Base hit will bring in two exists, runs. Come on. But you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no nope. spots. Go, 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 and go. that will end the inning. We had the right idea. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. All tied 1-1. One, one. Up next to the Padres. Shit. What the fuck happened with our pitcher? Uh, I want to drive in all runners. I'm going for that grand slam. All right, one time, one time. He swings and fouls. Ooh. How was I early? I'm waiting for like 20 years for his shit to get here. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. And there we go with the fucking. <sighs> there we go with the I can't lay off inside pitches from lefties. I need to get out of that habit of swinging at pitches on the inside from lefties. A lot of it isn't even that I'm wanting to swing at it. A lot of it is just my thumb is twitching. Very dominant with that fastball inside. The hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Bases loaded, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. I'm trying to, but this little bitch wants to keep coming in. Up the middle, nope. Hampson. Out to escape a bases loaded jam. <sighs> Doesn't help, but that every time he threw one inside, I swung at it because my thumb's like, there it is. Even though I'm going, that's not in. And we're back. Leading off, Leading off Connor Joe. The left fielder. We're only in the third, and it's 8 1. The, the computer just absolutely wants the Giants to win one game. Right, on <laughs> and the right hander deals. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. It's 13 nothing. I don't think we're winning. Yeah, you are a bitch. Looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. See, and that time I waited, and then you say I'm very late. I expected to see some offense coming up. Go, 
Bogarts on the goal. Pitch outside. Safe in second, and he easily steals the bag. You don't usually see teams try to claw back into games by being aggressive on the base pass like this, but it's Oops. still early in this one. It's kind of tells me I didn't mean to skip that. I was thought it was going right to me batting. Three run homer. Bounced up the middle. Damn it. In plenty of time to first. That's the second out. Well, we moved him up to third. Come on, Manny. Tony Woodson, the next up for the Padres. Over three with three ground outs. Because this guy's a little beach. Ball one, no strikes. At least I laid off that one. Man at second. Left field. Joe has a beat on it. Damn it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second. Thought about third there, but throws on the brakes. Two away now. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Tony Woodson. Nelson back to work. Nelson in his 10th season 35 years old and he was a second round pick back in 2010 and it's even up knuckle curve fastball slider wouldn't chase that time Swing and a ball popped. Up. I ain't doing shit this game. VR makes the catch. One down. Doesn't help that I'm being distracted every at bat by my mother. Ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. <laughs> 0 for 5. We went 5 for 17 with two home runs and five RBIs, and this is the shittiest song I've ever heard. Well, we got a diamond batting perk and equipment pack, so that's good. Let's see what we got. That's the only thing we don't have. Now, here. Give me something good. Ooh, contact three. Oh, I already have. The only thing I don't have is contact one. So, stuff that I'm not going to use. We got contact one, two, three. We need four. Uh, what do you want on the play style? Oh, the equipment. All right, we got the Marlins next. In their very next series, so no training. All right, anybody injured? Ooh. Was that the pitcher that uh, gave up all those runs? Okay, that's minor leagues, minor leagues, minor leagues, minor leagues. Ooh, our top prospect out for a couple of months. All right. Have we done anything stupid? Mm, looks like we, all we've really done is just some... Uh, Minor league moves. All right. Standings. We are now second place. Good. We're still under 500, but everybody in the division is under 500 except for the Dodgers. Five and a half behind the Dodgers now. Good. We can do, we can make that. Uh, we played how many games? 23. I want to finish the month before we start worrying about stats. All right, so we've got 
three game series against Miami, three games against Milwaukee, three games against Baltimore, but at the end of the second game, we are done with the month of April. I've art. Shit, I've hit 15 home runs this month. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Well, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time for the game against the Marlins.